And we're live. Fantastic. Okay. And that's up. Okay. What's up, guys? I'm Caddy here, and today, guys, a brand new Pokemon Showdown live stream. Well, what we're going to be doing is having a go at trying out the new UU tier. So this started um, up a few days ago. A lot of people have been asking me to, you know, have a go at it, see what it's like, and stuff like that. So I've not had, this is the first time you're going in, so I'm going to be experiencing it at the same time as you guys have. I've heard reports that it is uh, pretty scary, like in terms of power and stuff like that. This is a team that I've picked up from um, Six Foot Hacks, so I've linked that down, this video down in the description. Just because, as I said, I've not played it before, so I want to start off with a team that I like the look of and then sort of see how the tier works. But when you look at this, this looks like a very standard OU team. And this is UU, apparently. So, um, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, what we've got is a Leftovers Cure in Black with Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Substitute. The title says, oh, you does it. Ah, okay. Oh, I will forget that fix. Let's just quickly fix that. So, we've got the Cure in Black with the Leftovers with the Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt. Um, let's just change that to you, you. Um, okay, that's fixed. Um... Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Substitute, and then Roost. So this guy is designed to set up free subs on things that rely on, um, what's my call it, uh, Seismic Toss and stuff like that, because we can get 101 HP subs and they do 100 from there. So that's going to be pretty sweet for us. The Fusion Bolt, um, sorry, this, the Roost then allows us to recover back up. So basically we're designed just a sort of a, a mini stool breaker. Walls and things like that hopefully won't be able to break our subs. We can sub up on them for, um, up on them for free. And with Ice Beam and Fusion Bolt, we should still be doing a decent amount. I know we're negative in attack, but it still should be enough to be able to um, still do some really decent damage. So even with an uninvested negative, it's still 338, which is just absolutely crazy. So that's kind of the plan. It's a bit of a stool breaker rather than like an all-out wall breaker like it normally is. Then we've got the Jirachi with the Norlium Z. With the Serene Grace, which is going to be really great. Um, and then we're going to be having Happy Hour. So what Happy Hour does with Normal MZ is it gives you plus one in every stat. So we get plus one in attack, defenses, and also special attack, and then speed as well. So we're faster, hit harder, bulkier, and we still got that good chance to flinch. So that's going to be very, very scary. And uh, we've got the Iron Head and then the Fire... I'm sorry, the Zen Headbutt and Fire Punch. So Zen Headbutt plus Iron Head gives us our stabs. Both of them have a good chance to flinch, Iron Head obviously having the best, and then the Fire Punch, which gives us a chance to burn stuff, and helps with, I imagine, the Steel types that are in the tier. As I said, I've not played this before, so we're going to dive in and give it a go. Then we've got Specs Caldeo, which is UU, which is just even more insane. We have the Justified with Scald, Secret Sword, Hydro Pump, and the Icy Wind, which is going to be really great. Star Platinum for Jirachi, we can go for that. So what I've got is i got basically a selection of Wall Breakers, this is a hyper offensive team. Um, and then basically use Star Platinum to try and sweep, clean up late game from there. We've then got the Tornadus as well, another prominent Orasso U threat that's now down in UU with the Hurricane Superpower, U turn, and knockoff assault. But it's a very standard set there. Basically designed to be sort of pretty bulky, more like a utility of knocking off items and gaining initiative and stuff like that. Name the Victini Lucky. We can go for that. And then we've then got Sash Tracking, which is our lead as a taunt to stop other things from setting up. Close Combat and Stone Edge for stabs. So we're still going to be hitting pretty hard. My Little Pony for um, Keldeo, we can go for that. So it's basically just a Sash Suicide lead from there. Hopefully get, you know, get your rocks up. Hopefully get a kill from there. And then we're looking pretty decent um, after that. And then we've got Lucky the Victini, which is a choice band of Victini. And no always hit like an absolute truck with the Victory Star with V-Create. Bolt Strike, U-Turn, and Zen Headbutt with Max Stream. So that, uh, ma not Stream, Max Speed, what am I saying? But yeah, that's going to be uh, pretty cool. Chicken Wing for Taunda, so we can go for that. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this, this tier is like. Because it sounds, from what I've heard, pretty scary. And from what I can see, considering this is a, a team that's viable in UU, it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, uh, so let's go and have a look and see... Um, Pokebank UU. <laughs> Why is this UU? Red Bull, the track. Uh, oh, we've already got a name for Nick. Uh, oh, it's got to be shiny. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it shiny. Um, we can be a shiny hunter and go on from there. We still need a nickname, though, for Kurum, and I think the rest of... Yeah, the rest of all got their nicknames, so it's just that. Um, need a, that needs a name. So what we'll do, we'll do some laddering, and then we'll go on and do some viewer battles from there, and um, see what sort of UU teams. Make sure you do challenge me in the UU tier. Okay, that's it. Their, their team looks very UU. 
like what on earth is going on with mine um but anyway good luck have fun <laughs> he could be leading off with a swampert uh potentially so i could lead off with terrakin here if i wanted to um to get some damage i don't really want to though because i still don't have to take that on um victini doesn't look particularly great from a lead matchup point um you have almost no switch-ins to a V-Create outside. I guess the Swampert can switch in, but still, you're not going to appreciate that. Um, let's see, how does Jirachi look? Jirachi looks pretty decent, actually. If we can get um, the Happy Hour off, and we weaken this guy, and we weakened the, um, what's we call it? We should be pretty much good to go from there. So, that's something we need definitely need to try and concentrate on doing. So, overall, I would say... Probably my best lead is either the tracking just to get the rocks up or we go into Keldeo just for a massive hit if we want to do that. I think we're going to go for Wait wasting IVs on tracking. Are we wasting some EVs? Oh, we shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's let's fix that. I'm going to lead off with um Do I just lead Keldeo? I'm gonna lead Keldeo. Keldeo has a pretty good matchup against pretty much everything. Out comes the Swampert. I am just going to go for a Hydro Pump, probably, is my best bet. Rocks being up is going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, that does a load of damage. Okay, rocks are going to be a pain. Maybe we'd be better off with going into track, but I think overall, just getting rid of the Swampert is going to be really nice for us. Uh, and we do take it out from there, so that's brilliant. Let's see what he decides to go into. He goes into the Crobat here. Um... I don't particularly like it, but overall, Rachi seems to be my play. Hmm. I really want to keep Keldeo around, because Keldeo puts in so much work. Like, he has no real... No reliable switches into this now. Um... The trouble is, the lack of Scarf is always a bit of a pain. Um... And Kieran's probably going to take too much from that. But what does Kieran really do? And he's going to leave from there. Okay. That's pretty good. Cure Burn. Okay. Or Cryo Shock. I do like the sound of Cryo Shock. I think we're going to go for Cryo Shock. Especially when we've got ice and um, electricity. I think that sounds really cool. Um, let's see. The timer is off. Let's put the timer on. And let's just let that run. Because I'd rather just let that run. And then we can sort of go on, go on from there. But I think... Definitely next time I'm going to lead Terrakia, and I think that's a, a better way. Just make sure we get that, get rid of those rocks. Um, especially when we've got, uh, what's we call it, Kiram and also our Victini that are weak to them. Has anyone else lost sound? I hope no, I hope not. Hopefully you guys can hear me. We've got 40 seconds left, 30, and going down from there. But that, that's... See, their team is very much like... I look at that and go, yeah, that's all you, you. Whereas mine is just crazy power. <laughs> Absolutely insane. So, uh, yeah. Another Victini set that's risky is Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool. You can hear me. Okay, that's great. I think what we'll do is we can safely say he is going to go. So I'm just going to run, look for another battle. Yeah, he is going to lose from that. So that's great. We get some, get some free ladder points, which is always good. Oh, uh, it's just your Wi-Fi. Cool. It's always a bit of a worry. See, that's like you, you. Whereas mine is just crazy. Um, good luck. Have fun. Um, I am going to lead off with my Rumple Stilt skin. Needs up a Caracosta. See, are you going to taunt me, or are you going to try and set up rocks? I think you're going to try and set up rocks. I really don't want to take a massive hit, but on the other hand, I can't afford rocks to come up. Yeah, you try and do that. Um, do we want rocks up on our side? He has got the Delmise. But then again, we put... Oh, he does shut down our Keldeo. That's a bit of a shame. Um, do we want rocks, or do we want to just CC here? I do have a bit of a problem with, like, these sorts of things, because we don't have a really good way. I guess we got Cure in Black, which can handle it, but still. Um, he is probably going to have the Aqua Jet. So 
So I think we're going to go... Do we just want damage? I don't think we're going to do masses of that to this guy. But then again, what do we really have to switch in? I guess Keldeo, but then he can just go straight Delmise if he wants to. Do we just want damage or do we want rocks? I do really like the look of rocks, though. I'm going to throw my rocks out. Out comes the Delmise. Okay, that's fine by me. Um, we can either play it really risky here, like super duper risky. And we could go uh, Victini if we wanted to. Um, it's looking like not a bad idea. Just because I'm expecting the Rapid Spin now. And being able to do that is going to be pretty sweet because we can get the initiative. I'm going to take a risk. Goes to Rapid Spin. Okay, that's great. Now, um, he's most likely going Caracosta. So I am just going to U-turn here. Get the initiative that way, which is better for us. And we can decide what we want to do from there. So I could go into Terrakion and then just fire off CC. Considering how much that did, that looks to be physically defensive. Um... The other option is cure him, because he may not have... He's going to have rocks, but I don't want him to get rocks up, though. That's the thing. Okay, I'm going to go to Rack here. And I am going to CC, expecting him to not try and set up rocks this time. And we just kill him from there. That's great. I don't know if that crit mattered, but that's great. Getting rid Stopping him from getting rocks up is going to be really crucial. If he goes back Delmise, I'll probably go into... Don't have the best switches into this guy, I must admit. I mean, Tornadus is probably my best bet, but I don't want to have to take loads of damage from that. But then it is a free switch into Kieran from there if I want to. See, Anchor's always a really... He goes to Anchor Shot. Okay, that's fine. Um... Do I just go for Hurricane or do I go for a U-turn? I'm just going to go for the Hurricane here. He doesn't have much that appreciates it. I'm probably going to miss, but what can we do about that? Out comes the arrow. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, we got to be really careful of this Aerodactyl. Well, we got Fire Punch on him. Okay. Oh, goodness. Why? Why did I, I would have appreciated some damage on this. We still got the Focus Ash and Terrakian, so that's fine. And I can just fire off a Stone Edge. I think we're going to... What don't we need? Kiram looks pretty good. Terrakian looks really nice. Rachi looks nice. Keldeo, not so, um, I must admit. I'm going to go into Keldeo here. And I'm just going to basically sack off Keldeo. I can take a Stone Edge, but I'm not going to be able to take an Aerial Ace if he's got it. I'm going to go for the Icy Wind here. In case he wants to go back to Delmise. He doesn't know if I'm Scarf or not, actually. So that's fair. Um, that was actually a pretty reasonable switch on my end. Out comes the Delmise. I don't know how much this Icy Wind's going to... Oh, yes. That is beautiful. Out comes Foul. To be honest, My Little Pony's kind of done its job. There's not a huge amount I can be doing with this guy. So I think I'm going to go for another Icy Wind and just try and wear him down. He misses the Hypnosis. That's unfortunate. We are going to get a kill now with the My Little Pony. I missed the Hurricane, so it's kind of fair. Um, Zach H says, why does no one ever play on DSN? I understand you're trying to win, but learn not to use Lendries. The problem is, if you don't use Lendries, you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage. If you want to play the best in the tier, you play with what's there. You don't just make up rules <laughs> let's see if he swords dance i'm fine so i want to go torn but i can't go straight torn so i am just gonna have to go for a nice win sack off this guy i think so i've got so many other things that can deal with this his team <sighs> do kind of want to go torn though just in case but Flare Blitz will kill me. And Tornadus is still okay. I mean, it's not great. Maybe I just go... I'm going to risk the chip biscuit. That's great. And I'm going to go and fire off just a superpower. That doesn't kill the, the guy because he... Oh, weakness policy. I see what you're doing. Darkest Lariat. 
and it's going to kill me. But that's fine. I've got loads of ways to be able to take you out. And I think my best way is just to go Keldeo and I'm just going to fire off a Scald. It's probably my best bet. I can still Turk here with Delmise. So I'm not too worried. I think I can Turk here with Delmise with that. Or worse, weaken it to a point where the rest of my team handles it. I just need to keep tracking in good shape. And I should be okay. Out comes the anchor. Um, I'm just going to fire out a school. We got a chance to burn. Yeah, we get some nice damage off. We do get the burn, which is nice. Power whip is going to come through. And because you're burnt, I'm actually going to try... I'm going to try and take advantage of you. I may, may try. I'm going to try. I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to pull up a sub. A cheeky sub and see. Have you got the gyro ball? You haven't. But you have the anchor shot, and that is going to still break my sub. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that wouldn't, because you're being burned. But that's fine. I am just going to fire off an ice beam here, and that's okay with me. I've still got scar. I've still got my tracking in the back with the sash. Out comes Aerodactyl. Um, best player is just an ice beam. He goes for Dragon Claw. Unstab Dragon coverage. <laughs> that's a meme and a half. Um, that's fine. And now we just win because Minior. We can kill, we can bring him down to a Sash with an Ice ice Beam. Um, and then we've got Sash CC in the back, so that's great. Preserving the Sash was really nice. Oh, he's White Herb. Oh, fair, new, fair enough. I'm just going to Ice Beam again. Let you kill me with an Acrobatics or Power Gem. And then we are definitely 100%, and then we just go for a Close Combat. That's great. Whew. Okay, let's go for another battle and see. I'm quite liking the... I don't know, maybe my team is just stupidly broken, but... <laughs> Seems to be going well so far. Okay, Weavile and Yu Yu. What has this world come to? Uh, good luck, have fun. What do we want to lead off with? I could lead off with a Kyurem. But I don't think it's... 100% the best play. But then if he does lead Rotom, that's pretty sweet for us. The free sub is really nice. I know we're not going to be able to do a huge amount, but he can't do a huge amount to us either. If he overheats, then we get our... We can just sub up until he gets... Can't use overheats anymore. Do we want to go cure him? He has got that switch to Keldeo with the um, Latias. That's a bit of a shame. I'm leading off with Kyurem because I'm okay. He leads off with Weavile. That's actually fine by me. Um, I am just going to fire off a Fusion Bolt here. I can take a low kick. I'm if I remember rightly from my calcs. And let's see what he decides to do. Little cup in OU, maybe not. <laughs> I'll go Sylveon. Do we took here with Sylveon? No, we don't. We do like nothing. Um, we haven't really got the best switches to a Sylveon. Yeah, I am mono legendary, which is pretty cool. You are defensive. I'm just going to go Vict Victini. If you want to hyper voice, that's fine. Out comes the Weavile. Oh, goodness. Are you going to pursue trap me? This is where things get interesting. Victini versus Weavile. Knock off kills. And a pursuit will kill. Do we just want a U turn? I think a U turn will kill. A U turn will kill. The other option is we oh, I just don't want to get pursuit trapped. I'm going to use. Yes, okay. Fantastic. Out comes the Rotom. He doesn't know if I'm scarfed or not, and I think he was just a bit worried about that. So we could go Keldeo here, and I think Keldeo looks to be our best bet. Or we can even go the Curum if we want to. Get that free sub up, which would be really, really sweet. But to be honest, with the Sylveon looking so bulky, I think Keldeo looks to be our best bet.
and I'm going to go I almost wants double but I don't want to in case he he could be scarf actually I played a really no no he's got leftovers so he is going to be switching out here I'm going to double into Torn out comes the Latias that's great and I'm going to go for the knockoff Out comes the Rotom. We knock off the leftovers. That's great. Losing it, losing it some recovery is nice for us. Um, I think we're going to have to go cure him here. So I am just going to U-turn. Go cure him. You can't just title the stream that? What do you mean, Asta? <laughs> Let's see, what do we want to do? Hmm. What do we want to do here? Do we want to sack this off or do we want to just go back? I'm going to go back to Victini. It's Hyper Boy, so we can tank that. That's great. I will be doing viewer battles, so that's no problem at all. Um... I'm just going to kick recreate. He goes over protect. Okay. Oh, really, Asta? <laughs> That's quite funny. Apparently, Asta tit titled his video exactly the same. <laughs> That's quite funny. I'm going to click recreate again. If you want to go Gyarados, I still think we're going to do a decent chunk to you. <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. You're itemless. You're probably Mega Gara. I'm just going to go Keldeo now. Goes for sub. That's fine by me. Um, I am going to have to go for Secret Sword, though. I'm just unoriginal, apparently. Wearing down this Gyarados would be really nice. I have a feeling it may... Actually, will Secret Sword be break the sub, actually? Um, I just realised. Okay, Secret Sword easily breaks the sub. Um, to be honest, so does Scald. And I kind of like the Scald play, um, I must admit. What's about Mega Gyarados? It's got a chance then to break the sub, but then he can't he can't sub up anymore. I'm gonna click schooled. Break the sub. He is gonna Z. Oh goodness, what's that? Oh that was a powerful move. That was not nice. Okay, so I could go cure him if I wanted to. Considering he probably got bounce. Um Or we just go for something else. We can go into, like, Terrakion. Oh, I don't know if Tornus' knockoff is going to kill. Um, especially, no, because you're itemless. Knockoff is not going to kill. I'm just trying to work out what's my best position to be in to make sure that... I'm not in the wrong thing. Um, probably Cryoshock. And I'm just going to throw out an Ice Beam, I think. Looks to be our best bet. Yeah, I think this... Is this one Cyrus Remix? I can't remember. Yeah, Cyrus Battle Remix. That, <laughs> well done, Toaster. That's actually pretty good going. I, I never remember what all the names of the uh, different songs are. <laughs> Just... This team is so crazy powerful. I still can't get my head over. This is Yu Yu. Out comes the Latias. Um, I don't think I'm going to take a Draco Meteor. I don't, if I remember rightly. 
versus Kieran. Yeah, Draco is going to blow me back if he's life orb. Um, how much does... I think Tornadus is probably my best bet. And I can just U-turn. Yeah, I can take a Draco and then I can U-turn. I'm going to go Tornadus here. Get dropped a Draco. Yeah, you are life orb. You're non life orb. Okay, you're sold you. That's pretty cool. Um, so we can either go for the knockoff here or we can just U-turn. I'm just going to U-turn here. And see what he decides. So if he stays in and we go for U-turn, then I can just go cure him. Out comes the Rotom. I want to go Terrak in here, and I just want to throw up Stone Edge, I think. I'm going to miss, though. That's the thing. That's the sad reality of all of this, is I am going to miss. But what can you do? I'm not going to look. I'm not gonna look because I know if I look, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss. I want really want to look. Okay, he's not made the move yet. Yeah, Soldu is better now. I would say, especially with Latias being supportive. That's the thing. Like the life orb used to really wear you down, and then if you didn't have Roost, then it put you put you in a spot above there. So I think Soldu is nice. From there, it's not. It's a fixed version of Soldu. That's a nice bit of damage there. Um. Would be nice to get rocks up, but I am just going to go back into Teeny here. I'm just going to keep demolishing him until... Um, goes for Wish. I'm going to click Zen here. And then if you want to go back into Weavile, I'm just going to double. Um, he's going to protect. Just because it was my best bet versus the Sylveon. I guess maybe... It's the thing is, I didn't want that... Um, Thing which you need to heal up. Ah, got him. Got him. Um, I'm going to throw my rocks out here. Sweet. Okay. Back into Victini. Rotom's being a bit of a pain. The Mighty Arcanine, thank you so much for making it out to the stream, and also for the first time, and also for subscribing, I really appreciate that. And as always guys, if you are watching the stream and you're not subscribed yet, if you click the subscribe button, then you'll be able to see when I'm streaming next, and if you want to see some of those stuff. Out comes the Weavile again. Um, considering you didn't click Pursuit last time, I don't think you've got it. But I don't have Keldeo to switch in anymore, which is a shame. So I could keep bluffing this. Is my switch in? Oh, and he's gonna leave. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, I'll take that win. <laughs> I think eventually we'd have been able to get there because we were wearing down a lot of this team, which was nice. But um, yeah, how are we doing time wise? Okay, so we've been going for about half an hour or so. Uh, we're gonna go for one more game and then we'll do some viewer battles from there. So keep an eye out for when I finish. And what I'll do is I'll change over a challenge, and then you can challenge my McCaddy account. So you want to do dash, so for, uh, forward dash, like dash challenge McCaddy. Um, sorry, dash challenge space McCaddy, and then you can send a challenge to me. Make sure it's in UU as well. I won't be accepting any challenges from OU or any other tier from there. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left, so we can, we can go down from there. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that's sort of coming up news-wise. So, uh, well, we're going to be doing some more live streaming sort of as we go on. We got, uh, live streams are going to take a bit of a break from Wednesday because on Thursday I'm going home to my parents and then I'm going to have Christmas and that's going to be sort of six days, I think, where we won't be having streams because I'm going to have my family down and all of that stuff, but we're going to be having some uploads in the meantime. I've got my Christmas special, some moveset videos, and some team builders as well, and maybe another live as well if I get a chance. So there's going to be content out for you guys, there just won't be any streams um, during the um, Christmas period. Oh god, <laughs> what is this? Good luck, have fun. I'm going to lead off with Terrakion. Out comes Tentacruel. Interesting lead. Wow. 
What's my best bet? Kyurem's probably on my best bet. I am going to get burnt, though. But I think it's my best switch. I need to preserve my guy. He goes with T-Spikes. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um... I'm going to go for that. He does into straight into Shedinja. Shedinja... Oh, as a spin blocker, of course. Um, that's a real pain. I'm going to go into my Torn. As he Baton passes. Oh my goodness, that's a... An interesting thing. Oh, he joined again. <sighs> That was my mistake. I thought I missed I missed at that for him. Oh, that's really irritating. I hate it when people leave and then you switch off and then they come back again. Uh let's close these ones. Yeah, I thought I had that. Okay, so Golem does come out. What's my best switch in? Probably the Keldeo. I have Terra... Oh, I've got Terra Vault. Okay, I need to remember that. I will remember that next time. I'm dumb. I'm really, really dumb. I completely forgot about Terra Vault. That's the thing. I never see... <laughs> never see Sajidjus around, so... Okay. Um, so the Golem is out. I don't think a Superpower is going to be doing too much. I'm just going to U-turn. And I'm going to go into my Keldeo. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, the Golem does decide to kill us. I was expecting rocks there, uh, I must admit. What's our best bet here? I don't know if Terrakian's close combat. Um, let's have a look. Is that going to kill? Ah, oh, that's a real pain because we could have just killed that Sedinja. <sighs> okay. Golem versus um, Terrakian. Eighty-seven to one hundred and three. So I think that's pretty good chance. So I'm going to go into my Terrakian. And we can either click Stone Edge or we can set up our Stealth Rocks. Oh, he does. He's going to switch into Sedinja, isn't he? He does go Sedinja. Um, I'm going to get my Rocks up because I'm expecting a Baton Pass here. Contrary Mega Latios. That is crazy. Goes the Shadow Sneak. That's fine by me. Now I'm just going to fire off a Stone Edge. This is the position I want to be in. That's not the position I want to be in. That was not the position. Because now a shadow... <sighs> Why? Why? <sighs> and we kill him from there. So he didn't even have the sash. Okay. Well, that's not... That's it. It's not great. But what can you do? Um, we do outspeed the entirety of his team, though. So we actually guess the ninjask can come in. But it's going to take loads of rocks damage. Why would you have ninjask and Sedinja? But anyway, the stupid thing's out of the way. I should have just ice beamed like a clever person, but I didn't. Especially when the free sub would have been nice. If he goes Tentacruel, I am just going to go for Stone Edge just to get some damage off. I think that's our best bet. I'm happy with one layer of T-Spikes because it. We, our team doesn't worry too much about that. You feel my pain. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see what happens and what he goes into. If he goes Toga tomorrow, he's probably going to have Fake Out, but he's definitely thinking about it. Out comes the Gyarados. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge here. And we're just going to kill that. So that's great. Terrakian putting in the work. So he could be... I'm expecting Tentacruel here. So I could go into either... Victini. Victini is actually not the worst because... Um, I think that's our best bet. Out comes Toga tomorrow. Um, I am just going to click V-Create. Because I think I can Tokyo pretty much everything. Here's that fake out. 
Why is this set a thing? Why? <laughs> Why is this set even... No one... <sighs> I don't know. I do lose a load of HP from this though, but we should still be able to... I think we can took here at Tentacruel. <laughs> that was a beautiful return. If he goes Toga tomorrow, but again, I'm just going to switch out. Um, I could go Curum. I don't really know. What does that Toga tomorrow set have? He may have the Nuzzle, but that doesn't make a difference. I'm going to go Cryoshock here. And I can just sub up for free. Yeah, you're not going to do that. And now I'm just going to roost. Because you can't touch me. You're probably going to have Nuzzle, which does like two. And if you switch into something else, they're going to take a whole load of damage. Yeah, he's got Zing Zap. Oh, fair dues. But I'm going to roost here. And that's fine by me. Um, are you going to have the Nuzzle, though? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go for Ice Beam here. He goes for Spiky Shield. How to lose all your friends. Use that Toga Damaru set. It's just... It's just not a good set. I'm sorry. Out comes the Golem. Oh, I'm going to Tokyo you, Golem. Easily. Okay. Toga Damaru is not bad, but just not that set. <laughs> I will be doing Mix and Mega again um, at some point. I just want to place a bit more of the new tier first. Ah, that Ninjas is dead. You're going to... Oh. What is him with him and um, protect and trying to stall stuff out with one layer of T-Spikes up? It doesn't work. Heads up. Um, yeah, I can just roost on you, so what are you going to do about it? <laughs> what even is the point? I'm just going to roost here. Like, why? I'm just going to roost. <laughs> what did you even have to pass speed into? X says it is going to break my sub. That's fine by me. Actually, why would you have Nuzzle? Because I'm poisoned anyway, so. We should be fine. Between Rachi and everything else, we should be okay to be able to take out Toga tomorrow. You wait. He's going to come in. He's going to spiky shield on my sub. Knowing what this guy has been doing. <laughs> Okay, and that is going to be uh, the game from that. What we're going to do now is going to do some viewer battles. So I am going to log out and reconnect as um, as McCaddy. Okay, so make sure to challenge me in the UU tier. I can't, I'm not going to accept any challenges that aren't from UU. So make sure you do get those done. Let's see what we've got. I'm interested to see what sort of teams you guys got. My one <laughs> is just disgusting. It's the most disgusting new team I've ever seen. Eating Eviolites. Okay. Good luck. Have fun. What do we want to lead off with? To be honest, um, I do like the look of Kyurem as a lead. He could be leading off with Passman, actually, though. That's the only thing. Oh, Passimian. Oh, you got 80 speed, though. Um, does a base 80 outspeed a base 95? Modest. Um, base 100. 284. So we actually outspeed a Passimian. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to lead off with the Curum. Out comes the Persimian. Um, I don't think you're going to be Scarf. You're probably going to be Banded. So I am actually going to pull a sub on you. And then I can kill you with an Ice Beam. I think. Uh, Kieran B. Level 5th. Level 100. That is a terrible. Okay. I can, I can always just sub up twice if I need to. But I don't think I'll need to. Probably not. 
Um, I am just going to click sub. He is Scarf. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. Um, and we're going to hopefully get a free kill here by the looks of things. I mean, Comfy is probably his best bet. I don't think Comfy... Does Comfy even break the sub is the question. Okay, actually, Drain Kiss does do quite a bit if it's offensive. That's fine. Man, what's your stats like? Your defense is worse, but then I'm specially attack invested. I'm not attack invested, and I'm modest. So I think an Ice Beam probably does a bit more. Ice Beam does do more. Um, or we can go for the Roost if we want to. Um... Because then we can just go Teeny, and you don't really have the best switch in the world to evict Teeny. Um, I think I am just going to roost here. Goes for Leech Seed. Oh, okay. Predi maybe predicting a switch or something. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go for Ice Beam here. Okay, so Leech Seed isn't priority. That's pretty sweet. Oh, maybe he can't attack me. Maybe Leech Seed is his only move. If so, that's pretty sweet for us. Oh, no, he has got the Drain Kiss. Okay. That's fine by me. And I'm just going to pivot straight into my Victini. It's also looking pretty sweet for us in terms of Rachi. We just need to try and wait, wear down that Incineroar. And then we're good to go from there. Out comes the Incineroar. You've already had a Scarfer, so I'm not expecting this to be Scarfed. I'm just going to click U-turn. Um... And we'll see how that does. Okay, so we get some damage off. Um, Keldeo is probably the be my best switch here. I do really want to try and get rocks up at some point, though. Goes for Darkest Lariat. Okay, that's banded. I'm I'm willing to bet that's banded. Um, so we could go then to go straight to Horn if we wanted to. Because you're definitely switching out, and you're definitely going into um, Latias. So I'm just going to double into Torn. Or we go for the Icy Wind or something. That's a difficult one. Out comes the Executor. Um, I'm just going to throw out a Hurricane. Please. Please, Chicken Wind, you've not hit a Hurricane yet. Can you hit a Hurricane? <laughs> you know you want to, Chicken Wing. I nearly clicked Icy Wind as well. That was pretty... That would have been pretty rad. Um, come on, Chicken Wing. And we kill him. Fantastic. Okay. That's great. One annoyance out of the way. We've still got Sash tracking in the back. He has no options for um, hazards. So that's going to be really useful. I'm going to try and save tracking for as long as possible, I think, within reason. Uh, just because it checks the Bibaro and things like that. Yeah, I, I want to preserve the um, the Sash and Terrakian, though. That's the only thing. And it, I was expecting him to go into... Um, What's gonna call it? The Latias. So he does go into Comfy. I am going to just go for a U-turn here. Because if you want to go for Draining Kiss, no, you don't. You're gonna be going for Leech Seeds. Uh, which is not fun. But I can just go to Victini if I want to. Go to the Calm Mind. Okay, I'm not I'm not having any of that. I'm just gonna click click recreate. So you have no switch-ins to a V-Create apart from, I guess, the Latias, but still, you're not going to appreciate it. And I've got Tornadus to switch into the Latias anyway. Um, so we should be okay. <laughs> I just, I keep looking back at my team and just how disgusting it is. Oh, it's great. Yeah, if he wants to stay in, I can just blow him back, so that's no problem. He's definitely thinking about it. I would definitely be thinking about this. If he got a band of Victini, 
at this point. It is a very scary thing to try and handle. Caldeo for Babaro. I do also have Caldeo for Babaro, but now I'm a bit weakened. It's just that Swords Dance set can actually be quite scary. Um, so it's always best to be more prepared for it. And especially, as I said, like Tornadus matched up better versus um, all of his switches. Like I could superpower the uh, Babaro if that came in. I could take on the Latias if that came in. And also I could take on the um, Executor. So that's why I wanted to switch that guy in. My heart foul switch. Goes to Simpsons, you're dead. Don't think the crit mattered, because I am banded. So that's no problem. Okay. 50 became 100 real quick. <laughs> I think he was expecting me to U-turn there. Oh, you were max defense. Ah, uh, okay. Out comes Bibaro. Um, I am just going to go straight Keldeo. I want to preserve Lucky, because Lucky looks pretty sweet. And you can sort of stance up. As I said, I've got two checks, so that's okay. And Keldeo is looking pretty sweet, just to fire off a secret sword, I think. What server is this? This is just Pokemon Showdown, the standard server. Ghost Rest D. The Fret. So that's decent damage. <laughs> Assuming that was resisted, and we are going to take out Simple K from there, so that's great. Yeah, I think this is going to be GG. Out comes that. Um, do I want to preserve this or not? To be honest, probably not. Like, I've still got loads of ways to be able to take on Incineroar. So I'm not going to... Yeah, he does go into the Cinderella here. I'm just going to sink a sword because I was just sacking it off. So that's great. That's thing. I could preserve the... Um, yeah, he had to over-predict to win. Exa yeah, exactly. I'm surprised Persimmon... I guess Persimmon's U-turn may not kill. I'm not sure. I'm just going to secret sword. Wow, that actually still does a decent chunk. Goes for Psychic. Um, I am just going to go into my Tornadus, and I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Because if he wants to go into Persimmon, I knock off its item. I've still got Sash Tracking in the back, in the back so that's fine. Persimmon is, n Persimmon is normal fighting, isn't it? No, it's just fighting, okay. Drops a Draco on us, gets the crit. That's unfortunate. But we can get that back. I'm just going to U-turn. So that means he can't just spam close combat. So that's going to be great for us. Go for the 6 in. No, I... <laughs> I couldn't do that. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the live stream, don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. I am, I'm having so much fun with this uh, tier. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, we could just go Victini. And if he wants to go for a rock move, we've still got that. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much game from there, I think. Yeah, because the Persimmon comes out. It can't, I can't think of a move that it knows. Um... That will be able to handle us. I am going to go for Zen Headbutt. Actually, we we got the Victory Star, so we can't miss. So that's going to be great for us. Yeah, if the Persimian sweeps, that would be pretty crazy. Goes to Iron Head, and we're going to kill him from there. So that is going to be GG from there. 
GG. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Dark Roo. Oh god. That's certainly interesting. Um, what do we want to lead off with? This is why you don't bring memes. <laughs> I think we're just going to lead off with Terrakion. Follow the plan. Playing against the same team is always a very difficult thing. Like, you know exactly what they've got. They know exactly what you've got. Can we see the queue? Yeah, that's no problem at all. We've got I'm um, Shaylock first. That's you next, uh, actually, um, Shaylock. And then Superpower. He picks E1, does not simply. Okay, 11. Going up like that. So Terrakion comes out, out comes Terrakion. Um, I am going to try and get my Stealth Rocks up. Goes to the CC. Interesting. Um, the Mind Games. Do we want to just taunt here? I think it's, yeah, it's our play. And now we're going to CC. And then what we can do is we can U-turn. We can go into Taundus, U-turn, go into Keldeo, and go on from there. Not getting rocks up on our side is uh, going to be really nice for us. Okay. So we are going to go into Taundus here. It was a difficult trade-off. And I'm just going to U-turn, and then we're going to go into straight Keldeo. We're going to have to risk another speed tie. Um, I'm modest on Kieran because I want to keep my bulk. Um, that's the main thing. Like, it doesn't... It's not necessarily about hitting really, really, really hard. It's all about, um... Basically just being bulky enough to be able to take one hit. And Kieran's got great bulk, and that's kind of the... How, how that works. So, we are going to go Keldeo here. He does miss the stone edge. Okay, that's going to make our life a bit easier. Oh, is he still going to set up rocks? If he, if he's cheeky and sets up rocks here, I'm going to be so mad. Um, I am just going to secret sort. Oh, do I want to scold? Overall, I think school looks to be our best play. He does go into his Keldeo. Um, I am going to go into Tornadus because it's our best switch into a Keldeo. Yeah, that's the thing. 338 physical attack is uh, in attack is still great. Absolutely great. Uh, this is challenge. Okay, that's brilliant. Now, what have you really got that takes a hurricane? Not much. I'm going to throw out a hurricane here. Please... Please don't miss. I'd really appreciate you not missing. Come on. Chicken wing, you can do this. Out comes the Rachi. Oh, why? That's not ideal, because I can't knock off, you can't knock off Zeb moves, so I am just going to have to U-turn. I just want some damage on this, this Jirachi, so I'm just going to have to U-turn here. And we're just going to have to go into Lucky here and hope, beyond hope. Oh, he's t he's a cheek. oh, he's changed up the sets. Cheeky. Absolutely cheeky. Um, I am going to throw out a V-Create anyway. Ghost was, oh no. You're not going to do this to me. Oh, what? What is this set? Oh, no. This is disgusting. Now comes his Victini. Okay, that's nice. We don't really have a switch to his Victini, though. That's the only thing. I guess Keldeo is our best bet. 
But he could be going for U-turn here. Actually, he dies to rocks after this, so he is going to die after this. Uh, do I still want to keep this is the question. I do need this as a... It's not a counter to Jirachi, though. Whereas Keldeo is actually a more, lot more useful to me. I'm going to sack this off, I think. And I can go into... I mean, I could go into my Tornadus, just U-turn. Or even just knock off, because my Tornadus versus his team actually puts in a lot, a lot of work. So I'm going to go for the knockoff here. Take off the take out the Victini, which is great. If it was Choice Scarf there, actually no, we would have been fine because of the speed drop, so that's fine. I really want to try Victini in League play at some point. It's an absolute monster. Oh, that Jirachi set though. Hmm. I can handle the Terrakion, because the superpower will... I don't know if a superpower will kill, actually. I don't know if I like the Tornadus. Um, actually, that's not the team. That's that's the Christmas team. Spoiler alert. Um, I think I might be better off going negative in defense. It's just I'm not hitting hard at all. With like my superpowers and stuff. Out comes the Rachi. Oh, you... Cheeky cheeky thing. Um, the thing is this puts in so much work against him. But I can't afford anything else to really get you. Um... I hate this Rachi. Then again. If I can just kill it. What's he got to actually take on my um, my annoying Rachi? Not a huge amount, so I'm actually going to go for the knockoff here. Uh, take that, use, take that Thunder Wave, and then um, I think we're going to super power again, just in case. Okay, he does go for Zen, and we go for super power. It's just in case he wants to go to Rack. Maybe I boo booed thinking about it actually, because the um Keldeo is gonna be a bit of a pig. Mm. Out comes Terrakian, you're gonna try and get your rocks up. Um I am just gonna superpower again. Oh no, I needed that. I really needed that. Oh, that's not good. I think we're going to have to risk the speed tie with the Keldeo. I'm just going to throw out a Scald. Yeah, we, we lose the speed tie, which is unfortunate. But we're going to kill the Terrakion, which is great. And I can sack this off, and then I can go into my Jirachi, and I can set up. Yeah, Kieran B is an absolute beast in League. I love that thing. So good. I really want to try Kieran B Mega Absol. That was one thing I always tried to get in um, previous drafts, but I always got sniped like two turns before. I think I tried doing it twice to pick up Mega Absol, and I got sniped twice. Okay, the Tornus comes out. I think we got it from here, because I can Scald as you're going to Hurricane, or you're going to go for... Um, Superpower or something. The knockoff doesn't kill. Actually, I really want you to kill me is the problem. Please don't don't kill this. Okay, that's great. I actually accept that damage, and that's nice for me. Okay. Now what we can do is we can go into my Rachi. And I'm going to go for the Zed Happy Hour. Out comes the Curum. And now I just fire off Iron Heads till, till the uh, the day ends. So let's go for the Iron Head. That's going to kill. 
I think we do just clean up here. Out comes the Keldeo. Um, I'm going to miss my Zen probably, but let's hope not. Rauchi, you got one job, and you've just got to hit. Is it bad? I'm actually... <laughs> Worry this won't work. And I'm... I... Why? They've started sorting out the tears, uh, Poker Fan Dan. Okay, we do hit. <laughs> out comes the Tornadus, and I'm just going to go for the Iron Head, and that's going to be GG. That's great. It was just trying to eliminate the Victini. Try and work out a best way to set up with this guy, and then go on from there. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Ooh, interesting team. Good luck, have fun. Could be leading off with the Lipard there. Overall, it looks like Keldeo has a pretty okay lead matchup. They, that thing's a bit annoying, which is a shame. Um, I mean, also, to, I do want to get pranked, pranked to T-Waved is the thing. I'm going to lead off with Keldeo here. I think Keldeo's got reasonable. I don't know, this. their team's a really weird one. But it's got lots of checks to offense. Like, the uh, Sharpedo's going to be a real pig. Oh, do I need to save Keldeo then? Is the question. He doesn't have rocks, so I don't have to worry about that. I just don't want to have... I know he's the light, but his light pod's going to lead off, and he's probably going to have to T-wave something. I think I'm going to leave Rumpelstiltskin. Out comes Raichu Alola. You do outspeed me. Do I just want to get my rocks up, or do I want to... play around this guy? I don't have the best answers to this guy. Um... But I think Rock's getting up, being got up, would be really nice on the other hand. Or I could just Stone Edge. I don't know if a Stone Edge is going to kill. Versus Raichu. Earthquake would kill. Close Combat doesn't, but does Stone Edge. Okay, Stone Edge kills. He is going to surf. I bet I'm going to miss this. No, okay. <laughs> okay, that's great. And the only thing we're not going to be outspeeding is the... Um, I guess the Lipard, actually, is, and the Latias. But I can switch out. No, actually, 106. I can outspeed Lipard. So I could actually just go for close combat on the Lipard. So that's pretty good. Also, guys, as always, if you guys are enjoying the stream, don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. Really supports these streams, especially with YouTube being as terrible as it is right now. Um, any support is greatly appreciated. I am just going to go into my Victini because I think you're probably going to try and throw out a Hyper Voice. I would really like Rocks Up, but I don't want to lose Rumpelstiltskin. I mean, do I actually... Do I just throw Rocks Up here? Looking at his team matchup, I'm just going to throw rocks out. Three rocks. Well, it's not free. I'm, I think it's my best bet. His rocks helps me versus his check to my Victini, which is his Rotom Heat. So, And that's also why I didn't want to switch straight in. Because that's a Life Orb Shadow Ball, and I would not appreciate that. Um, but overall, I still think my best bet here is to go into my Victini, I think. And I can just go for a V-Create. Because even if you want to go Latias, that's still going to really sting. That's going to be a dead, yeah. Okay, that's great. Between Curum and Keldeo, I should be able to take on a Mega Sharpedo, so that's fine. I've got to watch out for Lipard. Oh, that pranks T-Wave. i just got to accept something's going to get T-Waved. 
I don't like it, but what can we really do? Out comes the Sharpedo. Overall, Kieran Black looks to be the best. Because, I mean, we, we can kind of take on his team, but not particularly well. Um, and I think the rest of the team actually fares, matches up. I mean, Jirachi's actually probably my least valuable player, but I don't want him to start setting up loads and loads and loads. On the other hand, though, what are we really doing against the rest of his team? With Pranks the T-Wave, we can't really do a ton to that. Mm, what does less? I'm probably going to say Rachi. I'm going to go Rachi. Out comes the Latia, so that's fine by me. Actually, I'm going to use this opportunity to set up, I think. Um, even if he does decide to go into Lipard to T-Wave me. Or do we just want to iron? My gut says he might be going to Lipard here. I'm going to go for the Iron Head. Yeah. Has the Shadow Ball. Fair enough. Okay. I'm going to use the Happy Hour this time. Because I can take one more Shadow Ball. Unless he crits me. And then I can just go on and live my life from there. Um, looks to be our best bet. It's just in case he wants to get into Lipard to Encore me. Uh, that was what I was worried about. So we are going to get that Zed Celebrate off. So that's great. Oh, Happy Hour. Zed Happy, happy Hour. Um, and now let's just fire off a um, Iron Head. Oh, he's Scarf. Ooh. That's cheeky. That is very cheeky. Um, but I can just go into my Tornus now and just U-turn. Looks to be my best play overall. Did not see that coming. But that's great, actually, because now um, Kaudio puts in the finest of work. Okay. That did 9%. Is that what we would expect? I need to work out of... Because if this, this is Scar... This is also Scarf, which I don't think it's going to be. Versus Taundus. Just that damage did a lot more than I was expecting. Um, unless you're Spadef. Okay, so you're probably... You're max HP. So that's good to know. Um, I am going to go into my Keldeo. And I'm just going to fire off a Scald. I don't want to risk it too much. I see their simple K calling me lazy for using it someone else's tier. It's because, I haven't, as I said, I haven't played the tier before. So I thought rather than... Doing a team builder, I don't know what what's all it's all about. Yep, Weavile is in Yu Yu. <laughs> and we're gonna take out that guy out from there. So that's brilliant for us. If he wants to go back to Latias, we can switch out. We still got Curum, which doesn't do tons, so that's going to be quite nice. Um, but I do want to kind of... I need to keep um, Keldeo alive, that's the main thing. Because once the Latias is weakened a little bit more, I can just spam Secret Sword, and then... Or whichever one is, Secret Sword, Secret Sword, and sort of go on from there. And I think that's going to be game. Out comes the um, Latias. I am just going to go into my Tornadus, because I am... Assault Vest, I should be able to take any hit. And you showed off Shadow Boy, so you're probably going to be going for Psy Shock or something, but I can still take that. Okay, that's brilliant. And now I'm just going to go for the U-turn. Out comes Sharpedo. Okay, you're dead. I'm imagine. Oh, you're just going to live on one. You're that cheeky. Um... Overall, Keldeo is my switch. And I'm just going to go 
for the secret sword. Yeah, because I think Heldio does just clean up from here. So that's pretty good. I think the only t one we lost was the one where he disappeared and then I didn't realise he came back. And then he came back and won from there. Yeah, so Mega Shop. He's Mega's up straight away. That was bold. Considering I now outspeed you anyway. I think he don't think he meant to do that. I think he got a bit overexcited there. <laughs> does this guy get Psychic Fangs now? It does learn Psychic Fangs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, even if he'd have killed me, I've still got max HP Curum in the back that would be able to take it on. So I knew even if Keldeo went down, it wouldn't be a problem. I could still play around it. And he had to have Protect, and he couldn't have Waterfall Crunch, Psychic Fangs. Then I should still be able to take a hit with Taunter, so that was kind of my uh, thought process. I'm going to click Sacred Sword again. If you want to T-Wave me, that's fine. Fake out. Okay. I'm just going to Secret Sword here. Goes to T-Wave. And we're going to kill from there. So that's beautiful. And we should still be able to take out a Latias at... Scarf Latias at that amount of HP. So I'm just going to click Secret Sword here. Sack off my little pony. And then we can just go into our Tornadus. Or we even just go Victini for a kill if we want. Just be cheeky. But I think we'll go Torn. Torn needs to get a few more kills. <laughs> And I'm just going to U-turn. Sweet. Okay. What's the looking time? Okay. Unfortunately, I am going to have to go from here because I do need to go and have some dinner. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the stream. I'm really excited to play some more UU. Um, we'll probably have a few more laddering streams. Maybe even have one tomorrow if, if you guys want to do that. Um, instead of the team builder. It's difficult. I, I want to do a balance of team builders and also getting into the UU stuff. So I'll have a think about it and see from there. But um, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this live stream. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out. <laughs>